Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels today. Today is December the 12th of 2023, and I'd like to bring another word to you from the Lord today. For those of you who have been following my channel, you will be aware that I have not been online for a little while. I hope this has not caused any inconvenience for you, and I am glad to be back. Once again, the Lord has been speaking regarding His end-time plan, and in this word today, we can see that we are experiencing the things the Lord is speaking about, but we may not have a full understanding of why these things are going on in the world. I hope this word today, although it is a serious word, will bring you joy. The Lord is speaking of His judgment, but in that judgment there is a reward for those who have put their trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. We will also see that the Lord is telling us that the shakings we are going through are part of his end time plan prior to his return. I hope this word blesses you as you hear it today. It is titled, The Day of God's Judgment. I'll begin by reading scripture. Psalm 82, verse 8. Arise, O God, judge the earth, for you shall inherit all nations. 1 Chronicles 16, verse 33. Then the trees of the woods shall rejoice before the Lord, for he is coming to judge the earth. 1 Samuel 2, verse 10. The adversaries of the Lord shall be broken in pieces. From heaven he will thunder against them. The Lord will judge the ends of the earth. Psalm 67, verse 4. Oh, let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for you shall judge the people righteously and govern the nations on earth. Psalm 98 verses 8 through 9. Let the rivers clap their hands. Let the hills be joyful together before the Lord. For he is coming to judge the earth. With righteousness he shall judge the world and the peoples with equity. Isaiah 11 verse 4 But with righteousness he shall judge the poor and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. He shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lips he shall slay the wicked. As we can see in all of these Bible references today, they are speaking of the Lord's judgment coming to the earth because the Lord is coming with righteousness. And though he may slay the wicked, he will bring equity to the poor because his judgment is just. He will judge the world with his righteousness. I'll begin reading this word. Why do the people tremble? Why do the nations rage? In this day the fullness of the Spirit has come to those who belong to the King. The old has passed away, and a new day has dawned. Great shall be the peace of those who put their trust in me, says the Lord. Great shall be the joy of those who have not backed down to the enemy, but have stood ground, rooted and grounded in the Lord of hosts. Far-reaching are the consequences for those who have faithfully stood the test. Their reward is short-coming. 
the trumpet shall sound, and all the earth shall awaken to its sound. Those who sleep shall arise up into life. Those who have been bound up in grave clothes shall be let loose into everlasting life. This is the day when the dead in Christ shall rise to meet him in the air. This is the day when the hold of this world shall be broken and the people shall be free, says the Lord. You cannot comprehend the work of the Lord in this day. You cannot perceive the day in which you live. You have been bound up in the traditions and understandings of men and blinded to the truth. A revelation is coming. The eyes of the blind shall be opened, and the people shall see me as I am, and they shall come into understanding of the times. This is the last day, the end of times. Times have been fulfilled, and the end has come. Trial and tribulation unparalleled since the beginning is being released upon the earth. Bowls of wrath poured out to test its inhabitants. Everything will be shaken, says the Lord. Everything men put their trust in will be pulled out from under their feet. Complacency will be no more. Comfort will flee those who have trusted in the world's system. I am coming in righteousness to judge the peoples of the earth. I am coming in power and might to pull down everything that has exalted itself above the knowledge of the Lord. Every knee shall bow before me, and every tongue shall confess that I am Lord, the stone the builders rejected. I am the cornerstone, and I have become the cap stone, and every building that is not built upon the rock of Christ shall fall. This is the day, and this is the hour, says the Lord. Take the sword of the Spirit, and cut away at everything that hinders you from being lifted up onto higher ground. I desire to take you up in my spirit, to show you things to come, to teach and equip you in the things of the spirit. These are wonderful things you have not known, for only in this day is the flesh being removed from the lives of the people, and they shall enter into the fullness of the spirit. My anointing shall shall rest upon them, and they shall do great exploits. This is the culmination of the age. All things are being brought together under the head, which is Christ. His kingdom is being established in the earth, and he shall reign and rule over the nations. Those who have been faithful and true will inherit the kingdom and reign and rule with him in power and authority, and every power shall submit to him, and every name shall be brought low, and the name of the Lord shall be exalted over all the earth. Rise up out of the earth. Hear the sound of the trumpet calling you up out of the earthly nature, out of the world's hold, out of the miry clay. Join in with the angels to proclaim the day of the Lord, resurrection life for those who have put their trust in him. This is the call into battle. All the earth shall gather against the Lord and his elect, and they shall make war. But the kingdom belongs to the Lord, and he and his armies shall smite the enemy and judge the nations. This is the day of battle and of victory for the children of God, for they shall march in and take the land, says the Lord. 
In this word today, the Lord is speaking of his coming to bring his judgment into the earth. He speaks of the shakings that will take place as he brings the people of the world into submission at his feet, as he implements his kingdom rule in the earth. These are exciting days. And yes, they are fearful days for the enemies of God. But for those who belong to the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord is speaking of a great joy that is coming, that we will function fully in his spirit, that our eyes will be opened to the times we are living in. The Lord encourages us that it will be a time of great rejoicing, that in his word even the trees will rejoice before him as he comes to bring his judgment in the earth. The Lord is coming to judge the earth with equity and to govern the earth with righteousness. Let us be among those who rejoice in this great work the Lord is doing. I pray the Lord will encourage and bless you today as you ponder these words and as you reflect on the Lord's word that he has already given us, that he is coming to judge the world, that it is the end of times, that he is breaking through and establishing his kingdom in its fullness in the earth. Be encouraged, be excited, and be strengthened as you stand till the end to receive your reward. Thank you for listening today. Have a great afternoon, and we'll talk to you again in the next video. Love and blessings. Bye for now.